Hey everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day today. Well, you guys asked for it. I did the video last week of some of my pythons that are not ball pythons. So this week is Python Addiction, Boa Edition. I'm Jack. This is my cameraman Kratos. Stick around. <laughs> Hey everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day today. So, as you see, today is BOA edition of Python Addiction. And I'm starting everything off with my big boy Kratos here. And I'm not sure exactly what morph he is. I know he's a BCI, uh, BOA Constrictor Imperator, or BOA Imperator, uh, which is about all I know. I know that he's probably a uh, hypo, but otherwise he is a rescue, so I am not actually sure of the genetics behind him. But I wanted to have him as my first one of several boas that I have to show off. He is Noted as being my cameraman, if you watch this little clip here, I did a short with him a while back when I had him out doing some cage cleaning. He decided to climb up one of my tripods and take a little pose, and he's been my cameraman ever since. But this boy comes with me to many of the shows, and he's like my ambassador animal. He's very calm, loves to be handled without any problems whatsoever. He's a hefty boy. He comes in at just over five kilo, definitely a muscular boy, but he's a puppy dog and I just love his pattern. His saddles are absolutely amazing and I can't believe that somebody didn't want him with how calm and docile he is but he came to me like I said as a uh, surrender a while back and he's been one of my big boys ever since but I know I'm Python addiction but I have a little part of my heart that has really grown attached to some of these absolutely beautiful boas. Uh, one of these days, maybe I'll get a uh, albino or a snow or whatever they're called. One of the ones that has the um, the leucistics in them that is like almost all yellow, whitish, with the, the blue or gray tinged eyes. I've seen a couple of them and they're absolutely beautiful. So that's one of those things that's on my list that I would like to get. But you'll find a little bit of a theme when it comes to the boas as I show them off. But again, here's my boy Kratos. Oh, he's being camera shy now. He likes to be behind the camera, not in front of the camera. You can say hi, boy. And on to the next one. And I'm back again, that quick. I love movie magic. This next boy that I have here is Vasuki. And another rescue. I got him not knowing exactly what morph he is. I, by the looks of him, he looks to be either a hybrid between BCI and BCC or some type of a locality uh, boa constrictor constrictor of some sort based off from the patterning and the uh, the tail 
colorations and everything like that. If you're someone who knows more about boas and you have an idea of what he may be, please drop it in the description below. I would love to know just so I can kind of document it. Not looking at breeding them or anything like that. They're just my pets. But again, another beautiful boa in my collection. Look at his head stamp. Another beautiful boy. Say hi. And we'll move on to the next one. And I'm back again. This next boa is another BCI. And this girl, a little bit of a different situation on how I got her. Um, the family that had her, uh, the snake was a little bit too big for being around their kids. When I first got her, she liked to thrash around a lot. She wasn't really uh, that accustomed to handling. But as you can see now, she's not thrashing around any or anything like that. So she has gotten very accustomed to being handled since I got her. I worked with her. She gets a little bit of a tap on her head when I bring her out with the hook as she has a little bit of a higher prey drive which is perfectly acceptable and understandable but otherwise I mean she's a good eater she's probably again another BCI from what I know morph wise I don't know exactly I do know, according to at least from the previous owner, where from where they got her, she's supposed to be het for cal albino and um, anatheristic type 2, which would be along the uh, lines of the Nicaraguan anatherisms. So she probably is some type of a hybrid or a mix, as she is a little bit smaller. Um, she's only probably about 3,800 grams ish the last time I weighed her, but definitely a beautiful girl. And again, I love the patterns and the faces of the boas and the little mustaches. Oh, she's going to say hi. But this is my Jasper girl and I named her Jasper because of her coloration. She looks very Jaspery in her coloring. So I just wanted to take another minute to show her off and she's an absolute beautiful girl. So on to the next one. And I'm back yet again and the next boa that I'm showing is a Nicaraguan boa. Falls in the line of the normal BI or BCI line of things, but they're a smaller locality boa. And he's full, he's an adult, full size, and he's about 3,700 grams. And he won't get much bigger than this. He's about the same weight wise as a couple of my girls are for my ball pythons like my Luna girl or my Isis girl weigh just about as much as he does. So but he was the only one of my boas that I actually paid for out of a pet shop. It had been sitting there and there was a bunch of babies or him for the same exact price. And I went for him instead of one of the babies as I thought he was absolutely handsome, an amazing boy. One of the things that I, that kind of attracted and drew, really drew me to him and to liking him even more is he'll change 
colors a little bit in his enclosure depending on where he's at in his enclosure and what's around him. He'll get a little bit on the, the lighter side, the grayer side. And I like that, um, I don't know what you call it, dimorphism or something like that to where he'll color change just a little bit. I mean, it's not a super, super drastic change, but it's one of those, um, I notice it. I mean, right now he's getting ready to go into blue, so he's a little on the even darker side than normal. And his eyes are starting to gloss over and get hazy as he's getting ready to go into blue. But he's another one of my little puppy dogs that likes to just hang out, look around. He's not too... he, he moves around a lot. More so when he's not in blue, but still wanted to show him off and give you guys a little bit more of a glimpse to some of the other snakes that are in my collection that are not in the python family. So this again is Enoch here. And stick around for the last one. This one that's coming up has been requested by many of you to see. I'll be right back. Hey, I'm back. And yes, I have my boy Odin with me now. This is my Doomrolls boa, Odin. He's an absolute attention whore. He loves to get into people's faces and give cuddles in his own way but some of you have seen some of the pictures of me with him that I've posted on Facebook I think I've done a couple of shorts with him but I've also shown him off a few different times uh, with uh, being on a couple of the zoom calls with uh, Brian Kutzko and their Patreon zooms I've shown him off in a couple of uh, little meetings with uh, some of the people that I hang out with on Discord with Olympus Reptiles. So he's got a little bit of a, a cult following. He's an absolutely gorgeous boy and an absolute puppy dog. Look at that face. Look at that face. But that's what I wanted to do today was kind of do the boa edition as I do keep uh, other snakes other than pythons, even though I am python addiction. Um, again, with him, just like most of the others, he is a rescue. So I don't understand exactly why somebody wouldn't want this puppy dog, but... I saw him and I could not say no to saying that he was mine. And I have been considering actually doing breeding with him if I find a female at some point in time. Just because of how beautiful he is and how calm he is. I mean, he's a good eater. You don't want to get around him when he's eating because he will take your hand and gnaw on it. He can take down a uh, decent medium rat without any problem whatsoever. But this is my boy Odin. So if you like this video, please do hit that like button as it lets me know if you like this kind of stuff. This is kind of a little bit more of an insight a little bit to who I am as a keeper, the other stuff that I like to keep, just like the previous video. So it's a little bit of a way for you guys to get to know me a little bit more and show off some of my other beautiful animals. Um, if you have not done so already, please do subscribe and click that notification icon while you're at it as I do tend to put out videos at least once a week um, and that'll let you know when I put videos out 
I do plan on starting a new series in the next uh, few weeks that is going to include some of the stuff for the husbandry.pro and how I use that to track everything. So if that's going to be something that you're interested in, please do tune in to those as that will be coming out probably every every Wednesday or every other Wednesday accordingly. I haven't figured out an exact schedule yet. Mackie wants to show off. He likes to show his face off. He doesn't want me to be the center of attention. But until next time, I'm Jack. Closing off here with Odin. And this is Python Addiction.